BBC WM uh, that there's uh, a big British music showcase event at the Glee Club in Birmingham. It's a big charity event, Wednesday the 1st of June, live and louder, the tour, raising money for the Caldwell Children's Charity. A host of top British Asian acts, uh, tickets are just eight quid, they will sell out because... There's only three events around the country. Uh, the Birmingham band Swami are involved in the whole thing. Electro, pop, bangra, rock. Uh, the boys are in. Diamond is in. Uh, SNs and Sups. Hello. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to be you here. Uh, and the Caldwell Charity is, I think they've raised something like 13 million, provided you know services to uh, a lot of kids who, who need it. So this is a, a pretty important event, isn't it? Absolutely. Definitely. So how did you get involved? Well, uh, Gareth Aston, who works at Cordwell, he's a very good friend of ours. He actually used to be at the Asian Network, who are big supporters of, of what we do. So we knew him from then. He would booked us for uh, a BBC event before at, um, in London at White City. And we, we've always stayed in contact with him, even after he left the BBC. Uh, recently, a few months ago, he, he got in touch with us and explained to us what he was doing at, the, at his new company at Cordwell. And he said, I'm starting this event, this tour, and we'd love you guys to headline it. And ultimately, um, if it wasn't for charity, we wouldn't be ready to go out on tour. Um, but we've kind of rushed ahead, uh, made sure that we've got these songs done. We're going to be playing them live, a lot of new stuff for the first time. And it's obviously all for the good cause. So we're getting, we're rallying all of our fans to come to the gigs and yep. just come down and support the charity. Because you've had a lot of success uh, uh, over the years. And this is a new album that you're working yeah, on. Yeah, the, the, the new album we've been working on for over a year now. And we've had a lot of requests to come out and play live and mm. do the new songs. And we've been saying no, no to everybody. But when, uh, you know, uh, a cause like this comes uh, uh, along, you know, for term terminally ill and disabled children, it's like, ah, we got to just do do this, you know, whether we're ready or not, we'll make sure we're ready and we'll play all these new songs and it's important for us. It just feels right. So I think when you've, over the albums we've made, we just know when something feels right to do. And, and you know, at this time it's, it's, you know, the Cordwell Live and Louder thing just feels right for us to do right now. Yeah, and a first chance for uh, for fans of yours to hear the, the new music as well uh, at, across the West Midlands. And you're a, you're a Birmingham band, so the gig at the Glee Club is... Well, we've been, we've been teasing the fans for a while. They've been asking for so long, when can we hear it, when can we hear it, can we hear a track, can we hear a verse, a chorus, anything. And a couple of times we've made little videos where we sneak in a bit of what's going on. And I think, as we've, we've already said, this platform is a, it's a good way for us to come forward and support a cause that we agree with and at the same time allow our fans to see what it is that we've been doing locked away in these studios for the last two years. It's, it's a chance for them to see what it is that we've been working on. Yeah, I mean, you've had a lot of success on the, the British Asian music scene, and not just in this country, but uh, yeah, on the um, Indian subcontinent as well. That's right, yeah. We've done a lot of stuff in Canada and America. Where yeah. We've been well-received. And um, in India as well, where you know we've, we've won awards for our music. And um, personally, myself, as a music producer, I've produced a lot of artists from Apache Indian right through to Shania Twain and various others but for us you know the Swami thing is is very personal for us about being British being Asian understanding the you know our worries our troubles our progress at the same time and that's what we believe in and um, you know we're very much a thinking band and a caring band <laughs> how did the band start I mean Diamond you started it, didn't I you, started the band originally um, as a studio project yeah. um, you know I, I think for me when you make music as a music producer or as a, as a DJ you want to make music that other people are not making and you know it's, it's very much it's, it's it's fine to make music which is particularly to do with your culture if it's just um, asian or for an asian audience but for myself being third generation and being british i, I had i was affected by a lot of dance music i'd heard growing up in england and rock music and all sorts of music and i wanted to bring that together in a new identity which hadn't really been done before and um, uh, it started off in the studio with myself and my brother simon and then we kind of developed it over the, the you know a few years into a band and it was well received and going back to india for us was a really important thing because it's like oh we're making this hybrid sound which involves indian music yeah and they're loving it in india as well but it is a sort of a, a unique sound because you've incorporated i mean the, the rock sound and other textures as well as absolutely i mean right now i would say the new album is particularly gone more pop mm. than anything with indian influences and melodies and um S Swami is a constantly evolving thing and and the, the letters of Swami actually stand for so who am I so we're constantly on a quest on trying to discover who we are and the kind of music 
that will lead us to discover who we are. The Swami is um, Hindu for a teacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, more specifically, Swami means a, a scholar or yeah. a learned one, somebody acquiring knowledge, and we acquire mm. knowledge through music. And the big breakthrough album? Uh, Desi Rocks? I would say Desi Rock, yeah, was our breakthrough album. Yeah, Desi Rock was something very different to what everybody else was doing at the time. And actually, when it first came out, people didn't really get it for a few months. The title track, they, which was what we pushed as the single, they would hear it in clubs and they just wouldn't know how to react. And then after a few months, five or six months, it kind of it took on a life of its own and it became this monster and started getting put in video games and movies and and for a long time you know we'd start a gig and a few songs in the crowd would already be saying desi rock desi rock like they just really wanted to hear that song i'm sure we could play desi rock 10 times in a row at a gig yeah i don't, I don't know if i could hack that vocally but, <laughs> but yeah it's a bit demanding but it is it's one of those it's it's a it's a crowd pleaser without trying to be one it's one of those where, as we were talking about the progression of our music, it's become so much more natural now to have these Indian and Eastern influences, whereas before it was something we were experimenting with. How do I make this rhythm fit? How do I make this instrument fit? How do I make this melody fit? Now it's become something like, how can I have this song without this instrument? How can I have this song without this melody? It's a, it's a massive part and a natural part of what we do, and it's not something we force. It's not something we are trying to push as a gimmick and we're hoping that everybody else now will get this and if they yeah. don't we're not going to stop doing it anyway it's a, it's a natural thing for us to have indian influences in our music for us having the influences of who we are is not about having a tabla or an india or a sitar in your music mm. it's in the melody it's in the dna of the music and we very much feel as being you know third generation fourth generation british asians our dna is you know it's a whole mix complex mix of being british and asian and sounds and music and melodies that we appreciate and we want to bring all of that together and it's being appreciated worldwide now absolutely yeah. and you know, because of the internet as well you know yeah. we go on facebook yeah. or or we our website and then we have fans South America, yep. uh, fans in Canada, Japan, India, India, <laughs> India, Japan, and they're all talking to each other about the same music. So we don't have those barriers anymore of music being restricted to certain territories. They're all talking about the same thing. Because you did Glastonbury a few years ago, didn't you? Three or four yeah. years ago? We did. It was it was an honour, actually, because uh, The Guardian has a, a Glastonbury mini guide that everybody at the festival gets given on a lanyard to put around their neck, and they listed us in the top five acts to see at the entire festival alongside the likes of uh, Lily Allen and Arctic Monkeys and people like that. So we got a, a big crowd showing up to, to our headline set in the tent that we were in, and it was, it was amazing. It was just one of those experiences that... It's kind the of first, a once in a lifetime The first thing. and only gig I've played in my wellies. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have that luxury. I think being at the front of the stage, I had to wear trainers and slipping yeah. all over the place. Uh, S- Swami, are uh, playing a, a big gig at the Glee Club, 1st of June, for uh, the, the Cordwell Children's Charity, uh, and featuring new material, not, not heard by the fans before. Just give people your website, uh, for those that haven't maybe got into your music before, might just want to find out what you're all about. Sure, it's swamimusic.com. And Swami Music is the kind of the URL for all of our web presences. So if you're on Twitter, Swami Music there. YouTube, Swami Music. You get the picture. Facebook, Swami Music. So, and if but if people go to our main website, SwamiMusic.com, it has all the links to all the different download sites and social networks and whatever platform people want to use. We're there. Birmingham Zone, Swami. Uh, great, great to see you, fellas. Thanks for dropping Thank in. You. Thank you very much. First of June at the Glee Club. Uh, for the Cornwall Children's Charity. You've got no excuse not to be there. We look forward to seeing you all, not just Asians, but the rest of uh, you know Birmingham, and even if you're outside of Birmingham, make your way down for a good cause and some fantastic music. Let's get the I whole do of say the West, so myself. Let's get the whole of the West Midlands at the Glee Club. <laughs> let's do it. Excellent. Yeah. The Paul Frank Show on BBC WM.